man, what a hell of an album. I remember me and my friend reading about what the new Gorillaz album was going to be and how different the band looked. The new Noodle, the awesome location of Plastic Beach, and Russell being fucking huge. Alright, enough talk, let's dive right into the Plastic Beach. Orchestral intro. Starting off is the grand sounding intro, setting the stage for the awesome sounds we are about to experience. Alright, let's do this. Welcome to the world of the Plastic Beach. Huh. Okay, is this another opening? Is is that Snoop Dogg? Ah oh, shit, it's about to go down. Alright, we got some hi-hats and some background bass going. Alright, some horns and keyboards. Shit's funky. Yeah, this song's funky and awesome. It's, it's a fucking good song. White Flag. Opening with a Monster Hunter, Middle Eastern pirate style sound. This song goes into an electro-pop jumble of music. The guest vocalists are nice, but the instrumentation is so small sounding, it sounds like it was recorded off a phone or something. Kind of a bummer. An okay song. Rhinestone Eyes. Another electro-pop wonder. That is really cool. The beat is awesome, the O's are sick, the repeating electric is great, and the storyboard music video is cool. I kind of wish they made it, but it gets the point across just fine. It's a great track. Stylo. Man, when this song first dropped, I would drive almost everywhere with it blaring in my truck. It's got a funky groove, awesome as hell music video with Bruce motherfucking Willis, and the late great Bobby Womack delivering some amazing vocals. This song is kind of hard to describe in words. This is just one of those songs that stopped me in my tracks and made me listen. Bobby Womack's screams are so fucking amazing. Most Def's bridging into the vocals by 2D. It's just an amazing song all around. Super Fast Jellyfish. This poppy, vibrant, crazy, happy sounding song is really bubblegummy to me. It's not bad, I mean, hell no, far from it. But man, this is one of the most happy sounding songs from the Gorillas I've ever heard. The beat, the singing, the rapping, it all sounds like something that could be for a cartoon. Or maybe even for their upcoming TV show. I mean, I don't know, but it's a good song. Empire Ants. The atmosphere and vibe on this song is just... Jesus, man. One of the most relaxing songs that the Gorillas have ever produced or made. This song is always on my mind, even when I'm listening to other artists or songs. It's got that staying power. It's just an earworm that never goes away, and I love it so much. This song has been with me through the biggest ups in my life and the lowest of the low. But no matter what, I always come back to this song and listen to it as if I just heard it for the first time again. A freaking amazing track, do not skip. Glitter Freeze. Kinda reminds me of Hip Albatross from uh, G-Sides, with the man speaking in the background about the Glitter Freeze and the instrumentation sounding like a mad scientist going crazy with a keyboard and a drum machine. It's an okay song if mostly instrumentation is your thing. Some Kind of Nature. Another okay song. Nice vocals from 2D and the late Lou Reed. And the instrumentation is really cool. Sounds really spacey and yeah, it's just a cool song. Rest in peace, Lou Reed. On Melancholy Hill. I had shown this song to my cousin who loved the first Gorillaz album but hadn't listened to any of their other newer stuff. And he loved this song a lot. So much so that every time we would chill, he would always want to hear it. And it's kind of hard not to see why. It's kind of somber sounding vibrant keys and that weird vocal melting away saying why are you gonna hurt me or something i don't know what it says but yeah the nice singing by 2d and the cool music video showing all the guest artists and the band making their way up to the shore on the plastic beach with a manatee watching atop a melancholy hill and then getting dragged under by the asshole boogeyman well he's not really an asshole in this music video i guess he kind of saved the manatee by bringing it back into the water yeah this song's mood is really somber but it's great it's another great song broken Woo! now broken is another freaking amazing track the vibe the instrumentation 2d singing the atmosphere man i just can't really i can't explain it again this is another song that when this album at first came out back in 2010 i had in my head for a long time and still do the lyrics talking about him being without a heart being left in the space that's been broken Man, I could relate. This song came at a time in my life when I needed it the most, if that makes any sense. Just an awesome song, do not skip. Sweepstakes. Most Def coming in on a flow that's out of this world, on another beat that sounds out of this world as well. His first verse's flow rides the clanging drum so well, the second moves to the addition of keys and builds to a nice finish, with what sounds like a high school marching band styled horn section. Real nice, it's a good song. Plastic Beach. Another song that feels nice to listen to. 
ascending and descending keys, the electro pop feel, 2D singing about the plastic beach, another good song. To binge, almost this entire album has that feeling of being near a sea line or a shore on a beach, and this song's nice guitar work and vocals reflect that. Little Dragon's voice matches perfectly with this song, as with Empire Hands and 2D crooning about falling so deep in love again, and Yukini Nagano's talking about the conflicting feeling she's feeling again. This song makes me imagine being stuck on an island and meeting a girl and falling in love or something. It's real nice. It's a great song. Cloud of Unknowing. A spacey, Bobby Womack-led song, and it's really atmospheric. I read somewhere that some people thought this was one of the weaker tracks on here, but I have to disagree. It's a very atmospheric song with the sparse synths in the background. It's another one of those tracks that you put on in the background and start drifting into your thoughts. Another good song, Pirate Jet. An electro synth explosion that becomes what I think sounds like a drinking song. Let's drink in our plastic cups, cause the tap's been running for a hundred years. Cheers. So what do I think of The Plastic Beach? A freaking awesome album, with only a few minor gripes admittedly. White Flag's instrumentation is cell phone quality sounding, which is kinda bad. Pirate Jet, while a decent closer, basically saying, hope you enjoyed the show, it's kinda weak compared to the other tracks on here. And Sweepstakes beat as well is kinda hit or miss for me, but all in all this album is fucking sweet. And if you're just getting into the gorillas, I think this album is perfect for you to start off. I give this album a 9 out of 10. Great tracks all around, but some beats are admittedly weak, and a kind of weak ending track, but all in all is a great album. So thanks for watching, and up next we got the album that the gorillas left off on, The Fall. So until next time, rate, comment, discuss, and as always, peace.